morning so this is my plan we're all locked down aren't we we can't do anything we can't go out it's driving me mad <coughs> and it's driving all of you lot mad um as a self-employed consultant i'm not even getting paid so uh i decided rather than just sit indoors and go crazy staring at facebook i am going to do something so this is an unused sort of loft space above my garage and I'm going to convert it into a film studio well <laughs> sounds a bit posh somewhere to do some filming uh, I've got great big plans in my head um, but we'll see what the reality brings but anyway it's day one and I've started and already we've had a little bit of a disaster luckily, luckily the disaster came just at the end but we had this I say had in the past tense um, a table saw a very cheap do-it-yourself table saw that's been kicking around in the garage doing absolutely nothing so uh, me and Harry which is a sort of middle son decided to utilize it to cut eight six eight before 18 mil sheets plasterboard well chip 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 board all reclaimed everything i'm using is reclaimed i'm not spending any money um and it made it with about an inch to go and then it literally burst into flames there was smoke and stuff pouring out of that little motor on the side but it did its job but it's never going to do a job again it absolutely stunk when it had finished sawdust everywhere i cut the boards um because everything's got to go up for a little loft hatch, I'll show you. And this is the route the board's had to take. Oh, this is the green room, by the way. Look at that for a section of pop-ups and wafters. <laughs> Ridiculously. <laughs> it's all quite empty. I've actually had a tidy up. That was my first job of uh, the new world order. Just to drag all of this racking used to be down here so I've had to take all of it out everything outside drag the racking over there reload it nice and tidy so that I can get to here and that's why the boards have got to be so small because this is now the route to my office hopefully I'm going to get a better ladder than this I know I've got one somewhere it's just wet so up here have the monster space look at that it's actually on a long lens so it's a bit more realistic there we go it's not quite 200 yards long if i can get up here while still filming without breaking my neck then everything will be very very good um, i've only got one arm at the moment so. right there we are we're up so these are all the reclaim boards which I'm going to cut to proper size and just laid down at the moment make a little duck walk from there to this end and a bit of flooring down there that's going to be the base and then a bit of false wall in at the end board off these bits decorate Got a good plan for decorating but i'm not going to ruin the surprise you can see that as it happens um it's hot up here but we do have windows but we do also have a lot of flies as in lots of flies i'll show you up this end they prefer this end because there's a big window so i'm not really sure what i'm going to do about these yet bring a few spiders up here to live i reckon but that is dead flies every single bit of it and this is live flies i ain't too sure where they're coming from maybe i should discover that first but yeah. anyone squeamish probably best not to watch this bit fly away I mean, they are just heaving. 
anyone knows of a good good way of stopping that I mean look at that that's about a gazillion of them and Madalena down in the garden in the background bargain at something God knows what oh God is just black with them I wonder where they're coming from I surely need something to eat to breed. There's nothing up here to eat. I don't know. Not the best anyway. But there you go. So that is where we are at the moment. <laughs> finished studio what do you reckon it's kept me busy for a week um, it's cost me absolutely nothing I've done everything on a shoestring with bits and pieces I had kicking around in the garage I even built this table this is three these three planks are off cuts from the flooring um, found an old thing of wood stain and a bit of plastic racking I had kicking about in the garage I've moved my little furry friend up here Colin the cormorant he's come to join us found a bottle of O'Donnell Tough Nut Moonshine that I bought at a carp show. 45, oh no, 25% by volume, so <coughs> help ease any little tickles I might get in my throat. Um, wallpapered the walls with the proof sheets of my second book, Flick of the Tail, and a few photos dotted about. We'll have a close up look at a few of them at some stage, I'm sure. Uh, a few at Padua there. Um, painting of the Black Mirror, painting of what we got, Burfield Common. Who's this fella up here? We have Heather, never caught Heather, but it's a nice picture. Uh, another nice one of pads up there. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. It's looking very nice. Made myself a nice sexy leopard skin chair. This is actually Madalena's winter blanket from fishing. It's been through the washing machine, it's stunk. Chucked over a low chair. Um, got a little tripod thing here that my phone's going to go on that's my close-up station if we want to get into any riggy stuff after suggestions really um, it's going to keep me occupied and hopefully it's going to keep you occupied so I don't mind 
what do you want to see? What do you want to hear? Stories from the old days, read your book, uh, Q&As, maybe you can send in like, messages saying various stuff you want to know, like, like you would in a magazine really, but it will be, well, I say live, it won't be exactly live because the Wi-Fi is not very good from here to there, so I'll record it on there, run downstairs, pop it in the computer, but we can make it work. Uh, we can keep ourselves sane and uh, hopefully have a bit of fun along the way. So, tell me what you think. Cheers. Oh, and by the way, it'll go out on, I've resurrected me um, YouTube channel, my one, from years ago. Uh, I did put a little tester up yesterday, the Burfield Common looking and playing and the run and that. So if you saw that, that's the channel. Uh, I think it's Dave Lane on carp fishing, I've called it. Um, but I'll link everything to Facebook. But if you do go on the face on the YouTube channel, sorry, can you um, share it if you would? And uh, I don't know whether it's called register. Subscribe. It, it, it's not a pay thing. You just subscribe, and that way I can see if it's working, how many of you are going on there, and um, yeah, just helps me really. So nice one. Cheers.